I live in Salford in a four bedroom private rented house and um, I share with three other people. Two go to Salford and then one goes to MMU. Um, we share the living space and we've got like a kitchen um, but there's like a toilet and then a bathroom down here. Uh, we've got a garage as well with a utility room. It's freezing down there, that won't be fun in the winter. I live in Salford, in private accommodation, it's a house I share with my boyfriend. One bedroom, we've got a living room and you walk through to the kitchen, then upstairs we've got our bathroom and one bedroom. Our, uh, mine and Hannah's bathroom on the second floor, our lights broke, so that didn't work. We've got no drawer, so yeah, everything falls apart in this house. Two weeks moving into the house and we had to call our landlord up because the boiler went and there was no hot water, no heating for about two days. But she came around, she started it really quickly. Um, this area is uh, a lot more rough than where I used to live. Um, I mean, I've seen a drugs raid happen at Eurotan across the road. Um, we actually saw them coming out with the evidence bags full of drugs and then the guy got arrested and put into the back of the, the van. And then um, I've also seen a really drunk alcoholic um, on his way to the pub. So he had to walk past our drive, but he kind of fell and rolled halfway down. Um, it's basically rent is due once a month and that just gets taken out direct debit. So I don't really see that money, which is £315. Um, and then with my student finance, I've got my car insurance as well, car tax to pay. So most of the time it's just making sure that I break even um, and trying to find money for like food shopping and stuff, which I didn't really have to bother about putting my lift at home. Um, I'd say do your research definitely into like the areas that you want to move into. And yeah, just make sure that you share with the right people because if you move in with people that you hate, you're not going to enjoy yourself, are you? So that would be my advice. Three top tips living on your own as a student in your own house. Number one would be keep it as tidy as possible, as frequent as you can, so you don't come home to a massive mess on a bad day. Um, number two, make sure you set your alarm clock half an hour before you actually need to be up so you don't oversleep and you've not got anyone there to wake you up. And number three is when inviting people around, make sure that they tidy your path for themselves. So after you've had people around, you don't have takeaway rubbish and beer bottles everywhere.